we are really struggling with the environment. If people don't feel attached to a certain situation, then they don't feel that it's necessary to do anything about it. More people than in other countries have the concern that climate is affecting us, but... Coordination between the stakeholders sometimes is difficult because we don't have a guidance like a master plan and uh, not enough partnerships. Nowadays we see the overconsumption around the world, not in the specific region. We have to do a lot more. To find this balance between nature and, and the human being. Raising awareness. Awareness to the people that we really need food, energy and water. Most of the people do not know the importance of uh, collecting and sorting uh, waste. We lost a lot of biodiversity that we need to, to survive mega chunks of our forests. SIPSEM has for decades been helping professionals from developing and emerging countries to improve their skills in environmental management. The course program is designed to support graduates working in governmental and non-governmental organizations in gaining active, evidence-based knowledge. They will then be able to contribute more effectively to the sustainable development of their home countries. Course participants are trained and motivated to formulate interdisciplinary strategies and appropriate measures for the protection of the environment. These professionals are also equipped to consider the economic, social and cultural aspects of the work they do. There is a mismatch between expertise and uh, demand in many countries. Uh, what we see is uh, a growing demand, uh, how to manage environmental problems, and in the same time to make sure that economic development is, is realized. The Federal Environment Ministry and the German government uh, have a strong interest to help future decision makers to enable them to implement environmental policies in their countries SIPSEM was established at the Technical University in Dresden in 1977 as a contribution to the United Nations Environmental Program. Since then, the network of former participants has grown to more than 2,200 experts from 139 countries. Alumni return home with an extended toolbox and with valuable international experience, plus a new network of like-minded people as well. Exchange with facilitators from a wide range of backgrounds, including university and various national and international institutions, is key for the interactive and mutual learning experience that we would like to have in this course program. In addition, a multitude of excursions guarantees the access to successful environmental management practices. The curriculum takes up important issues such as conservation and restoration ecology, water and atmosphere. Other key topics are land resources, sustainable urban and regional development, and sustainable energy as well as waste management and circular economy. This keeps the participants up to date with scientific research. It also sharpens their skills in problem analysis, including synthesis of multiple findings and contrasting demands. They are enabled to develop the right tools and management options, including the necessary laws in meeting their respective environmental challenges. But on all over, we really want to motivate uh, the students to, to get engaged in biodiversity conservation in their home countries on a national basis, on a local basis, but also in international negotiations. And this is why we also put a big emphasis on a negotiation training for the Convention on Biodiversity in this course. It is uh, very important that in all countries we start now to move towards a more sustainable development than the one we have today. 
both agreements, the Sustainable Development Goals and the Paris Agreement, push us in this direction. The willingness to move is there in many countries. Even the political demand to do this is there, but there is still a lack of experts. And there has to be more expertise uh, with governments and stakeholders. And the trade courses are a perfect uh, vehicle to get expertise to those who need it.